Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my um, two-year review of the Double Shot by Dry Bar brush. This is a new one I got from their two-year warranty. This is my old one. I'm going to be comparing the two models and give you guys some uh, recommendations and honest opinions of this um, Dry Bar blowout brush. So they do have different models, but this is the Double Shot one. So just right off the bat, I do have a demo and review from a few years ago. I'll link that down below. This is a great um, blowout brush, especially if you're someone who um, likes to be on the go. I do have Asian hair, so it's pretty fine, but it's about medium thickness. So this is really good for me because I don't even use my um, blow dryer. I honestly just use this and it dries it right away. You can see right off the bat that the bristles are really bad. So let me zoom in for you guys. You can see a lot of hair accumulates. So honestly, I had to clean this every like every few weeks when whenever my hair accumulates. It could just be me, like how my hair comes out a lot. So you do have to be mindful of cleaning all the time. I did see some reviews on the Revlon one, how um, it works great, but it just does the same thing where you have to cut your hair off. So that's the um, big problem for me. And so I feel like it caused it to heat up a lot. So when I would try to blow out my hair, my hair would like be kind of smoky. So that's why I reached out to them and I got it. Luckily, I got a new one. So if you are going to clean it, make sure you turn it off, of course, and it's like completely cooled down because you don't want to burn yourself. This does have three settings. It has a cool and then two heat settings. So, I mean, if you are someone that's like scared of heat damage, I would put it on the cool one. So I think this range is about a hundred dollars. I'll link it down below so you guys know which model I have. And this is a new one. Okay, let's do a side by side comparison. So you see how damaged the bristles are? It's just crazy how much um damage it's done i mean this is normal wear and tear but you can see the even the combs are like all over the place when i do travel i don't put it in a case that could be something that caused that but you can see the brand new one is like perfectly straight there's no like really any bending i mean why would there be if it's brand new but you guys can see how it looks after two years the only thing is if you do have oily hair, I typically have an oily scalp and um, a lot of my product, I feel like it builds up in the bristle and I wish that you can detach and clean this part, but you can, I don't think so because it's all like connected. So that's something I would be mindful about. I do wish that there was a better grip because it starts to hurt my hand when I'm blowing out my hair. I have about... Um, shoulder length hair so yeah I don't even know if they sell like a grippy you can put on to do your hair but that was really annoying I don't think I would repurchase it again if um, something happens to my new one um, I would probably try out the shark um, air wrap dupe it's a dupe for the Dyson one so I might be trying that in the future but yeah I don't think I would repurchase this again I think for the price, it's definitely worth it if you're someone who um, just wants a blowout brush and wants to dry your hair easily. Yep, so let me know what you guys think. Did you purchase this? What do you guys think? Is it worth the price? Another thing, oh, I forgot to mention. I wish the bristles were boar, I think it's called boar's hair or like a faux boar's hair but this is I think just like plastic so I feel like that's why it's like all over the place so 
I mean, I wish they would just add that for the price, you know. Um, none of the little yellow things have came off in two years. If it did, I feel like it would just be scratchy. So that's a good thing. I probably could have used this longer, but like I said, again, my hair started getting hot and I, and I typically dye my hair a lot, so I don't want it to do any more damage. So hopefully I don't have that problem with this one. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys did like this review, please don't forget to like it and um, subscribe to my channel. And let me know if you guys want to do an updated demo of this. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.